<laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host. Good afternoon. Good to see you. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, bring a story that has me very, very concerned. Extremely concerned. And that is why all these Americans are yeah. dropping dead over in the Dominican Republic. Yeah. Now there is something real fishy about this. So let me share this story with you. And this is out of Turlock, California. A California man is one of four American tourists to have died at a resort in the Dominican Republic in the last several months. Bob Wallace of Turlock was in the island country to help celebrate his wedding of his stepson, Tommy. Hospitalized and too sick to participate in the festivities, no one had a clue Wallace wouldn't be rejoining his family. We didn't find out anything until the next morning that he had passed, which is another weird thing, Tickenhoff told KTXL. My mom and brother had been in touch with the hospital, and they didn't reach out and tell us any answers until the next morning. The adventure-loving 67-year-old who had just celebrated his 10th anniversary with his wife had died. My six-year-old, my three-year-old, who used to run in the house and jump on him on the couch and wrestle with him for hours on, hours on, well, would wrestle with him till hours on end, Tickenhoff said. We're just going to miss him greatly. Thirty members of the family took off for the Dominican Republic to be in place for Tickenhoff's wedding on April 14th. A bottle of scotch from the minibar in his room at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Punta Cana seems to be where Wallace's decline started. It was really kind of quick turn of events that after that ended in his death, Ticken uh, Cough told KTXL. Thousands of miles from home, Wallace became the first of four American tourists and one of two staying at the Hard Rock Hotel to die while vacationing at Dominican resorts and possibly partaking in of a mini bar liquor. We don't want to jump to conclusion, but it seems like the embassy sounds like now the FBI is involved, ticking up said. For a man who spent much of his life building Turlock apartments and condominiums through his business, Wallace Construction, the family Wallace built, is intent on finding out the truth. It's tough. I mean, you're in the process of grieving a family member, then all of these other instances come out where it just kind of adds to the pain of not knowing what the hell happened to him, Wallace's son-in-law said. He said Dominican authorities told him told the family to expect Wallace's tox, toxicology reports in about eight to ten weeks. If that timeline holds, they should be done by the end of June. Wallace's loved ones are planning a private memorial for him on June 29th. Um, then they have early autopsy results so far are inconclusive for the three Americans who died at Dominican Republic resorts. Three Americans checked into a resort on the same day and died within a week. Now their families want answers. I mean, this is insane. Um, then you got the Dominican Republic Resort responds to a woman's account of a vicious assault and attack. Pennsylvania woman died days before Maryland couple at the same hotel in the Dominican Republic. And it's crazy too because um, there's a bunch of group of them going to Punta Cana in July. And I've been hearing so much negative stuff about Dominican Republic. That is someplace I would not want to be right now. I would not take a trip there. I don't know until they figure out if Americans are being killed purposely. Or if 
um, this is just a coincidence that they're um, eating, eating and partaking in meals or drinking liquor. And it's just a coincidence, all of this, that their bodies are rejecting these things that they drink back home or eat back home in the States. Anyway, however you look at this, this is really, really weird. And this second story, let me just read this to you real quick. Pennsylvania resident Miranda Schrapp Wern checked into, stop, 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 into a resort in the Dominican Republic on May 25th and was excitedly taking pictures in the room she shared with her husband. Suddenly she felt ill after a drink from the mini bar. Y'all listen to this mini bar stuff. Family spokesperson Jay McDonald told the CNN affiliate. A shortly after she just collapsed and died. Shrep Warner is one of three Americans who mysteriously died within a week at a resort in the Caribbean nation. Five days later a Maryland couple, Edward and Nathaniel Holmes, Edward and Nathaniel Holmes, and Cynthia Ann Day, 49, missed their scheduled checkout time at another hotel at the same resort. When hotel employees checked on them, they were both dead. You know, I think some poison is in being put in the alcohol or something, or y'all, you know, something is going on. <laughs> what? Hotel workers found Holmes and Day on May 30th. They checked into the hotel on May 25th, same day as the Shrump Warner and her husband, Dan Warner, who were celebrating their wedding anniversary. The bizarre issue of the same hotel and these things happening within days of each other and the complete unexpected nature of what happened to Miranda, we just want to understand this, McDonald told the affiliate. At one point, she was sitting there happily smiling, taking pictures, and next to the, the next moment, she was in acute pain and calling out for Dan, and she collapsed. Holmes' daughter says she wants the mysterious, the mystery of her father's death solved. It should have never happened. Um, taxi driver says victim appeared very happy. A taxi driver who picked up Schwant Worm and her husband from Santo Domingo Airport and dropped him off at the resort told CNN that the couple appeared happy and tipped and tip generously. The driver, who did not want to be identified, said the trip took 40 minutes from the airport to the hotel. Once they arrived, he helped them with their luggage and took off. Days later, the driver said he went to pick them up for their return back to the airport and he was told they checked out. He found out Shrimp and Warner died from the news. Wow. Holmes and Day were from Prince George's County and were supposed to fly back home the day they were found. They spent several days in the Dominican Republic taking part in several activities. Three days before they were found dead, they went on an excursion to Isla Saona, according to the Bob. Bahia Princey Hotel. The hotel believes that the couple visited the capital of Santo Domingo because of a bag because a bag from a pharmacy from there was found in their room. Days before their death, Holmes posted a Facebook photo of him and they enjoying their time in the open waters. This is the boat ride of a lifetime. One caption said, This is really insane. I mean, just really insane. Um, the bodies of all three Americans were transported to forensic science institutes in the nation for examinations. Prosecutors are investigating the circumstances of her death, the nation's attorney general office said Wednesday. As for Day and Holmes, police said an autopsy concluded that the couple had respiratory failure and pulmonary edema and abnormal buildup of fluid in their lungs. Isn't that weird? Blood pressure medications were found in the room along with three medications, including an opioid and 
anti-inflammatory according to the police and the general attorney. <laughs> All we know <clears throat> is the resource information definitely differs from the officials. Okay. <clears throat> The resort operator said it followed all security protocols. There are no indications of any connection between the two cases, it said. <laughs> now listen. Authorities did not provide a cause of death for Schwamp Warner's case. However, the resort said it was determined to be a heart attack. It said her husband provided statements saying he had a history of heart condition. McDonald Trump was treated for a heart condition 15 years ago, but had not had more recent issues. She had been seemingly healthy. He is not aware of anything going on with her health, he told the affiliate. Mm -mm -mm. While police told CNN on Monday that Day and Holmes died as a result of respiratory failure and pulmonary edema, the hotel said that their cause of death has not been determined. The case of Mr. Holmes and Mrs. Day remains under investigation by authorities with the result of a toxicology test still pending. That's what the resort operator said. We disapprove of any conjecture or possible causes of death and urge all to respect the families while their investigation is going on. Really. Tourism is a key part of the nation's economy, and its coastal resorts are a popular choice for travelers. The tourism industry made up more than 17% of the nation's economy last year, according to the World uh, Travel and Tourism. In 2018, about 6.5 million tourists Dominican, visited Dominican Republic, more than any other Caribbean nation, according to the Caribbean Tourism Organization. The country attracted 2.2 million tourists from the United States, which is more than any other country in the region. 48 Americans died in the Dominican Republic between 2016 and 2018. The deaths were the result of several things, including drowning, homicide, suicide, vehicle, and other types of accidents, said the State Department. This is really weird. Three incidents, three recent incidents of death happened a few months after a car crash in the Dominican Republic killed two Americans. In March, a car carrying New York tourists Orlando Moore and Portia Reveal plunged into the Caribbean uh, after the pair left for the Santo Domingo airport to catch a flight home. The body of Moore, 40, was found at sea. A fisherman found Ravine, 52, and took her to the hospital, but she died days later. Now, I don't know, people. Just thought I'd tell y'all that because this seems mighty strange, what's going on in the Dominican Republic. All right. That's it. Like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next video.